Today we're gonna use a lot of popsicle sticks. <laughs> if you guys are just as curious as I am, give us a thumbs up and stay tuned! Come on, Sue, reveal the big secret to us! Why do we need all that? Well, you like decorating very much, and I like drawing. And we both love one certain animated film, so… <gasps> Is this gonna be a Moana craft? <laughs> I'd rather say it will be a Tafiti picture from Wooden Sticks, but mostly you're right. And what any picture needs is paint, so let's go get them now! Whoosh! Ta-da! We're gonna use food coloring and water solution to give colors to our popsicle sticks. Here we go! Guys, I always spill the water when pouring it. That's why I trust Sue with this type of work. Right, Susie? <laughs> yeah, you should be careful at this stage, guys. Whoop! Here comes the last glass. Great! All right, now it's time to brighten things up. Let's take several greenish colors for Tafiti herself. Make this one brighter, Sue! Yeah! Okay, perfect! And a couple of bluish colors will let us make a beautiful sky. Okay, and now we're gonna simply put our popsicle sticks into the water and let them soak up the color. Excellent! The wider ones go here. Now we'll need latex or rubber gloves. Here is a tip for you from an expert in crafts and coloring. Turn the sticks from time to time. This way the color will spread more evenly. This will definitely take some time. But for you guys, we'll use some video editing magic. Voila! Holy these colors so much! I feel like a peacock, but what's next? We'll use these to actually finish the preparation stage. Let's cut the thin popsicle sticks in halves. Oops. Be very careful, guys. Remember, any tool is not a toy. Here we go. This part is kind of time consuming. But in the end, it's worth every second. I promise. <laughs> I'll help Susie finish with the wooden sticks. And you guys, use this time to subscribe to our channel. And we're back and are totally ready to create! Guys, I know that you already know this, but always be careful while working with the glue gun. There we go. Let's start with the background of our picture, which is actually the sky. Ah, now I see why it was so important to prepare the wooden sticks in advance. Uh-huh. It's also important to adjust their sizes. Here, see? It's better to glue them like this, in staggered order. While Sue is busy, let me tell you a bit about the main character of our craft. When the whole world was an ocean, Tafiti created islands, flora, fauna, and humans. Over time, her generous heart has become a desired treasure. One day, a half-god Maui stole it! In the end, the darkness fell on the islands and Taka appeared. Sammy! What? Have you finished already, Sue? Not yet! I'm trying to prevent you from telling the whole story! What if not all of our viewers have already seen that animated film? I haven't thought about that. Guys, give a thumbs up if you watched Moana, and subscribe if you still want to watch it! <laughs> oh, Sammy… <laughs> wow! Well, guys, check this out! What a beautiful and colorful sky we've got! might be the ocean as well. You know, both the water and the sky are equally outstanding in those places. That's right, Sammy! Hey, Sue! Look! We still have these wide wooden sticks left! Thank you for being such an attentive slime! <laughs> we are actually going to work on our character right now! And we'll need all these greenish sticks to create Tafiti's face, like this! Let's use craft magic to adjust the size of wooden sticks. I drew a Tafiti picture, too. Oh, right about time, Sammy. Do you like it? Oh. Paints are what we really need right now. We'll use black and white colors and a lot of green, of course. <laughs> That's unbelievable! She said nothing about my piece of art! Huh. No, no, Sammy, wait up! I liked it! 
Ugh, I must have gotten carried away with our craft. I gotta bring him back, guys. Do you mind finishing this for me? Whoa! This is just so amazing! Hey, Sammy! Check out what the guys did! I really love it! Wow, well, what a great job, guys! I take my hat off, but I don't have one! <laughs> now we can simply glue this face piece on our background! Perfect! But hey! I also did something! What do you say about this? You've made a neck piece? I'd say we make a great team with you! But we gotta continue working because we still have quite a lot of popsicle sticks left. All right, let's start working on Tafiti's clothes, shall we? Once again, guys, be very careful with the glue gun. We'll attach these halves of our sticks this way, moving from the bottom to the top. <laughs> Note that we don't need any clear edges at this stage of the craft, guys. Sam's right. Her clothes should beautifully fall down the lower part of the picture. Actually, to me, it resembles some kind of a fabulous gown. Remember how Tafiti was rescued in that animated film? She stood up, so gracefully and mighty at the same time. Oh, that's one of my most favorite moments! And I like when she gave Maui his magical fish hook back. <laughs> Man, I still cry thinking about that. There we go. Guys, pay attention that in order to make our picture look more natural, we should glue the darker popsicle sticks like that. This way we can imitate the shadows. I know it's a long-lasting process, but check out how awesome it's coming out! Susie, I've got an idea! You finish here, I'll be right back! Okay! <laughs> I wonder what he's up to. Sammy, where are you? I already kind of miss you. <laughs> I'm here, Susie. Are you ready to check out what I've made? Almost. Just one more popsicle stick here. And here. Okay. Now show me what you've got, Sammy. Ahem. Bibbidi bobbidi subscribity! <gasps> Sammy, that's totally awesome! Guys, look! There's even a little Moana figure here. Well, I must say, I outdid myself this time. <laughs> Well then, let me also show you something. Voila! Sue, so, honestly, there is only one tiny thing that can make this picture look even cooler! Really? And what is that? Here you go! Let's make her a perfect flower crown! That's a terrific idea, Sammy! This cardboard piece will be a perfect base for it! Let's just glue these artificial leaves all around it like this! Make it rich, Susie! Remember, Tafiji spread life all over the world! This should be enough for the greenery. Let's just add a couple of flowers to make our wonderful Tafiti, the goddess of life, blossom to the fullest. Susie, please tell me that our picture is ready now. Almost, Sammy. You know, I've been thinking about what you said, that the sky and ocean look pretty much the same. So I decided to add fluffy and gentle clouds right behind Tafiti's head. Here, this way. Just a few light touches will be enough, I guess. <laughs> okay, see? Now that was totally the last thing to do! Come on, boys and girls! Are you ready to see her? going to make a cool robot. We'll start by making its legs from popsicle sticks. I still have so many sticks. Do we need them all? <laughs> the more the better. They should be a hundred millimeters long. That's it? I thought our robot would be bigger. <laughs> That's only one third. And now we have all of them. And the last one. That's better. What's the 
the first step. Let's see. We need to prepare four different types of pieces. Two sticks of this type, 32 sticks of this type, 16 of these, and two of these. Shiver me chatters! So many pieces! Ah! Let's make a template first. It should have two holes on both sides of the popsicle stick. Let's draw dots to mark the places for future holes. We finally get to use a drill! We haven't used one for so long! We'll need a 3.5 millimeter drill. Ask an adult to help you because it's quite a dangerous tool. Done! Since we need two sticks like that, let's make holes here too. Uh, don't tell me we need to repeat all the steps! It's so tiresome! No, grumpy Sam! We just put the two sticks together and drill holes using the template. Ah, they're like twins! Nice job, Susan! Guys, this is the final result. Four sticks of different sizes. Don't forget to cover all of them with acrylic paint. It's easy to get confused, huh? Sue, so, what are we gonna do with them? This'll be one of the robot's legs. I'll call them Krabby Legs. <laughs> uh -oh. Be careful, Sammy! Where are these coming from? We're gonna use these wires to connect the sticks. We'll need a steady robot after all. Uh, let's see who can make a leg faster, you or me. Challenge accepted. Done! It's time to make a wire clamp. Bend it and twist it this way. We should get a loop like this. Now cut it off. Done! And now we can put the leg together. I guess I want to! <laughs> no, Sammy, I'd say we're even. Let's see the result. But I've already gotten attached to it! Ugh, fine! Sammy, can you bring two sticks, please? Are we eating sushi? <laughs> Not the chopsticks, the other ones! <gasps> there they are! Nah, that's no fun! I'm gonna go find a fortune cookie at least! <gasps> there, guys! Our crabby legs are ready and well fastened! What do you say, Sammy? Mm -hmm. Sue, so, I've been thinking! Let's make them more stable! We can make heels for the back feet! That's a great idea, Sammy! You know what? I already made them! <gasps> awesome! Wow, you're a true engineer! Let's attach one to the left leg and another to the right leg! Now it's done! Shiver me chatters, it looks like a moon buggy! Sue, how did you do this? It's simple, Sammy. I just connected the crabby legs with these three wooden sticks with small nails. And what is all that for? It looks cool, but I'm confused. If our moon buggy has legs, it also should have a body. Oh, I got it! It's like a living organism! Exactly! So we're making a platform where we can play. A gear motor! Right, Sammy. If you want to make a moving mechanism, this motor is a must-have! And we will use these spokes to connect the motor with the shortest sticks of crabby legs. These pieces will make it walk. Hmm, I think we're missing something. <gasps> right! A battery! The motor needs energy! Let's upgrade our mechanism. We can make it walk faster or slower. Let's connect the pieces. Guys, ask an adult to help you at this stage. Sammy, I'm a little busy now. Just use your imagination. Okay, but just remember it was your idea. Finally, the electric circuit is ready. What is Sam doing, by the way? Sue, so, check this out. I think this would make a great frame for the body. <gasps> nice work, Sammy. You've even added these pieces to make it sturdier. Let's just place it above the platform with the motor. Now it really looks like a giant crab. <laughs> I can't wait to see how it walks. We can test it right now if you want. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna catch this crap. <laughs> Careful, Sammy. Okay, we need someone to control this moon buggy. Do you have any ideas? Ooh, dude, that's easy. Who could do it better than a robot? You're right. First, let's make a cabin for it. Pay attention, make sure that the side pieces are shorter by a third. Before putting them together, let's cover the pieces with acrylic paint. I chose the blue color. It matches well with the yellow. So, check this out. Do you think we can attach this to our craft? <laughs> There's no buggy without propellers. Can you make one more? You don't need to ask. Just a moment. I'll be right back. While Sam's busy, let's add some decor. I add a metal frame to this opening. And a 
little button that will turn a future headlamp on. Are these glasses better than my original ones? Sammy, are these the engines I asked you to make? <gasps> you broke my glasses! In the meantime, let's finish with the engines. This way… Oh, do you hear that? Sounds like cookies. I don't think Sam's upset anymore. Sammy! <laughs> yes, sir. I see you recharged. I have an important task for you. Okay, I'm listening. Ugh, I cut it, polished it, painted it, and finally it's done! Good job! That's gonna be the lower part of the robot's seed. Wow, it looks awesome! We also made a comfortable cabin out of just six pieces. See, guys? You can make something cool in few simple steps! It's totally true. This box reminds me of one thing, by the way. Any ideas, guys? I know! UFO! Today the cosmic theme is everywhere! I just need to glue the last cabin piece. Woohoo! Sammy, our UFO is flying! Yay! Where is it gonna land, Sue? I'll place it on this round piece. That's the robot's seat. I think he'll be comfortable. What about Pro Powers? We need a place for them, too! <laughs> sure, Sammy, I remember. Give me a minute. Mm, looks cool. I can use that too. Catch this, Sue! <gasps> Careful, Sammy. Ah, uh, he always gets crazy ideas. The second one goes here. Looking good, huh? Ta-da! Check out what we're going to place on the opposite side of the cabin! Wow, Sam, it's really cosmic. But what are these for? Um, I haven't thought about that yet. Maybe these could be some kind of intergalactic GPS? Or they can get radio signals! <laughs> okay, we can think about that later. Guys, maybe you have your own ideas too. Well, we made a cabin and crabby legs. Sammy, what else do we need? Um, crabby arms? <laughs> let's call them crabby claws then. And I'm gonna show you how to make one. First, let's join a big cardboard cylinder with a smaller one. Now let's glue three identical pieces together. And the last one. The arm is done, but let's add some color to it. Wow, I think it looks cool! Check out the claw I've made! It's caught me just like a real one! Can you help me? <laughs> sure, Sammy. <gasps> Sammy, you're a mind reader! This is exactly what we need! Sue, where did these come from? These are lenses for the headlamp, remember? And they're needed to scatter light? <laughs> right, Sammy. Headlamps have light-emitting diodes, so I cover them with lenses. Guys, follow us! It's so fun! And this is our headlamp. Doesn't it look cool? The headlamp is cool, but we still didn't install the claws. Right. Actually, one is not enough. Let's just clone this one. And... Awesome! Sue, when will we see the robot in action? Don't rush, Sammy. Wish. Ta-da! What do you think? Are you serious? Sue, you must be kidding me! <laughs> of course, it's just a joke. We still need to make arms and a head. Phew. Okay, where do we start? We connect the arm with the shoulder, fix it, and attach it to the body. This way. Wow, they're so flexible! That's because I attached them using small pieces of wire and nails. Can't wait to see how he's gonna operate the moon buggy! The robot controls the robot! <laughs> What year is it? 2135? <laughs> By the way, the hat is almost ready. Whoa, he's cute! In a strange robotic way. He's glad to see you too. You can't see it yet, but his eyes are shining. I can't give him my heart, but... Uh, I can give him this! Aw, it's so adorable, Sammy. I think our robot appreciates that. Ah, if only he could send me a signal! Let's put him in the cabin and he will do that. Are you ready, Sammy? <gasps> it's working! Sam, can you see the signal he's sending? Uh, Sammy? Ah, help! Susie! Hey, how did you get in there? Uh, it's a long story, but thanks for saving me. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's put on this glass cap and set the cabin onto the crabby legs. Don't forget the ladder, otherwise our robot can't get Oh, okay, Sammy. Great idea. And there it is. Our moon buggy is ready. Want to see how this robot walks? Follow me then. Sam's 
Sue. Sam's calling Sue. Over. <laughs> Sue's listening. Over. Today was a hard day. We've created a crabby robot and one more robot that can... Sammy, get to the point. All right, all right. This is test one, take one. Is everything ready? Then let's start. Woohoo! It's a total success! Congratulations, Sue! It can walk on different surfaces. 